What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while. Thank you for tuning in. I bought a 3D printer. It took me a little while to learn how to use it, and then it took me a little bit longer to learn how to use it. Good. One of the very first things I created with my 3D printer was this universal self-tightening 13CI tank cover. Now, I'm calling it a tank cover because YouTube generally thinks that the things I say are absolutely abhorrent, but we all know what this is. Pretty cool. It's printed with PETG filament, which is probably five times stronger than your PLA. I know, super nerd 3D printing talk, but it'll hold up. It resists heat and chemicals and looks super cool and is ultra lightweight. This here is a 13 4500 from First Strike. Huge shout out to my channel sponsor, Tier One Armament, for hooking me up with this bad boy. The reason I mentioned to you what this is, is because obviously you're not here to be able to see how big it is, but the outside diameter is around 52 millimeters. The 13 CI 3000 PSI tanks, the standard aluminum ones, same OD, the same with your 1545 and your 1745. All those tanks will fit in here just fine and it auto tightens. This guy right here is actually a three piece design. All right, so when you find the file for the tank cover, you're going to have an option. You're going to be able to print four pieces, the tank cover itself, a cube, which is actually a stop, a threaded rod. I opted to use a metal threaded rod and a dial, which is also threaded for quarter 20. Now how this works is you take your stopper and you thread your threaded rod into it and you really jam it in there. And then there's a recess inside the tank. You put your threaded rod inside and then you take your dial and you thread it onto the threaded rod, which will pull the stopper down into the tank cover. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see that. Okay, and it'll actually pull it down below flush, but that's not what you want. You actually want it sticking up a little bit, probably an eighth of an inch or so. Take your tank, and you jam it in there, and it takes, well, <laughs> it takes a lot of force to actually turn this around, and now instantly you have a tank cover that you don't have to worry about a guide rail or your adhesives coming off or your buddy forgot their tank cover or whatever have you, you have a spare. Wow, that's really on there. It cost about eight to $10 worth of PETG filament to print this and about nine hours worth of print time. I'm gonna make the file available absolutely for free on Thingiverse. Go on out there, pick one up for you guys. I don't want to see anybody out there charging people money for this. That would be totally unfair. And if you do see it, please let me know. Um, another thing, guys, 3D printing technology, it's getting super cheap. And those clones that are out there are actually super accurate. For about the same cost as a 600 box worth of first strikes, you can get into this. Because I only paid $260 and now I am 3D printing all the goodness. Now, don't forget to check out Thingiverse for all of your cool tactical related stuff and this buttstock, which you will find on there later today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, consider being one because the ideas are literally flowing faster than I can print them. And I'll see you on the next one.